on riders it's Paul with a ride home review however you probably noticed earlier in the week that I didn't have a movie that I was going to see posted that's because I didn't get the chance to see a movie this week um, I was gone in Houston for three days kind of screwed up my schedule but I figured this was a good time to do another one of my recaps uh, we've had two months worth of summer summertime movie so far so i figured i'd do a part one of the summer recap um so what we started with was in may we had we watched uh guardians of the galaxy king arthur uh alien covenant pirates of the caribbean uh dead men tell no tales and then in june we had wonder woman we had it, it comes at night and all eyes on me so out of those movie all oh, plus we had uh, um, starting before Guardians of the Galaxy we had I believe life and uh, Lost City of Z well let's just take it from the top really uh, what was the best what was the worst that I saw in the, the last few months um, and it really wasn't a good uh, good time for Charlie Hunnam I don't really think that he started uh, well he was in Logan so he did all right as Donald Pierce but that was spring let's talk about summer his two movies King Arthur and uh, the Lost City of Z were both subpar mediocre movies high technical and creative quality uh, the cinematography was incredible for both however just the story and the layout just didn't work um, and as for the best I would have to say that it was a pretty neck-and-neck neck battle with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy volume 2 and Wonder Woman two comic book based films as you expect for summer blockbusters um, but uh, yeah both of them came with high quality good storytelling uh, great direction um, and so on I know I'm a Marvel fanboy but Wonder Woman really brought it for the the DC uh, cinematic universe this time around it was a very well done movie uh, I wasn't too high on the villain uh, for that movie uh, but there was some misdirection with it and it just was well done well done good cast uh, well done. Same with Guardians of the Galaxy. Like I mentioned in that review, if you watch that review in its entirety, it was a little bit of a lull in Act 2 um, of the film. But all in all, it brought back some of your favorite characters uh, from the film, and it, it delivered. It delivered big time. So, so there you have it. A couple of the biggest disappointments other than King Arthur. I don't think I need to uh, rehash that at all. If you saw that but Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales he was really disappointing um, it really made you think that all right let's just stick with the original trilogy because both Stranger Tides and this sequel to that sequel were just not good um, it, it tried to go back to the original like I mentioned in my review but just didn't have it and the most disappointing film of the last couple months was obviously all eyes on me that was just not what I hope to see hope to hear um, it was just just a very big disappointment so but what do you think um, what did you think about the movies now the ones that I reviewed if you saw them what were your thoughts what were your uh, highlights or low lights and watching films over the past couple of months let me know uh, also subscribe to me on uh, YouTube ride home reviews like us on Facebook catch us on anchor and the podcast um, look forward to hearing from you all all right that's the recap for this week see you next week with a new movie on the 4th of July have a good one everybody Take care.